and just like on the front porch like there's just like a note and he always has like a smiley face the smiley like, face is so creepy guys the guy started getting out of the car at this moment literally I don't know what this guy is capable of we just don't want whatever the stalker put in this pizza we just didn't want this in our house all right guys so you guys have been requesting it and today we are bringing you guys a stalker update and this has honestly been so requested we were not going to post about it again because like we posted about it once we don't want to give him more attention but you guys seem to love it and we continuously have this stalker doing different things and doing pretty crazy things and we have a few things to update we don't have a ton but yeah it's just some like funny stories at this point it's almost laughable mm -hmm. because we know it's him and like at first it was really scary but now we're like yeah oh it's the stalker yeah i mean it's just like it is really scary and it definitely is like a really serious it's scary topic. to have yeah very serious topic and we posted the first video like in December and it started months before that so it's been going on for a while and at this point we're used to it it doesn't make it not a serious topic and not scary but once you're dealing with something for so long you get used to it and guys the soccer has been back he's striked again multiple times and I'm sure you guys want to hear about it so before this video starts make sure you like subscribe and turn on the those post notifications if you guys like these stalker updates and if you want to hear more about him it is a him yeah. by the way so anyways I guess we can bring this back to when our last video released if you haven't watched the first video yet the link will be the first link in the description down below if you haven't watched that go watch it first you're all caught up so it was like right after the stalker video was released it was the night before we left for Turks and Caicos and we were making a TikTok and we get the no caller ID on next phone again. And it was live. It was on a TikTok. Yeah, we freaked out, but this was just like a little thing that happened. Like everyone saw it live, so like they like felt. Yeah, exactly. We, th we just thought it was funny because it was live and you guys got to experience it with us. But other than that, we'll get into the serious things that he's done over the past two-ish months. So let's bring it all the way back to the beginning of the night. Me and Simone, we're going to go to an escape room. It's like 40 minutes out, but it's like the closest escape room near Simone. And also another side story is that there's been this really creepy car parked right outside and the windows are really tinted you can't even see it. and we've tried like putting our headlights into it and and it's always in front of my house which if you're coming to my house you park in front of my house but they're not coming to our house so right. why would they park in front of our house exactly we didn't see anyone in the car we leave and at the beginning of the car ride Simone notices that that car is like pulling out and I'm just like whatever we don't see the car on the rest of the way there we just saw them leave at the same time as us guess what Guess what? It's the car, guys. And the car, so this is kind of confusing, but I'm gonna try to visualize it as much as I possibly oh, well, can. Oh, while you explain it. Yes. So basically, the car was parked like down the street in the middle of the road. It was so odd. And then... We were coming this way. Mm -hmm. And then there's a spot on this side of the road, which is where the escape room is. So Nick went to go like make a U-turn into the spot, you know? Mm -hmm. So as he went to go make the U-turn, that car was like so far back, like past the sidewalk, and it was parked there since we even turned onto the street. So we're like, okay, it might be like habitats it's on, whatever. Exactly. So. And then it pulls up, like it pulls up so fast behind us. Like these, what the heck? And they were like beeping and stuff. And then I was like, I don't know what to do. So I left the spot, right? That's the only thing to possibly do. I'm not gonna stay there like an idiot. Really? Like, literally turning this way and then they purposely like tried to exactly. like, crash into the side and there was a bunch of spots open it's not like i took someone's spot it was literally the whole like street was basically open so i was like whatever maybe this guy's heart is set on the spot they need the spot or something it seems like it was a car that wanted to get into a spot you know when people get angry if you pull into their spot it wasn't like that but that's how it felt like he was like literally like pulling up right behind us basically gonna hit us and threaten to hit us and that's when this guy corners us into the spot he like drives up and sideways like staring into our car exactly we were on edge of crying Simone was like almost crying I was like freaking out because like you know when you're like you're in shock and you don't know what to do I was just like driving so then anyways I pull into the spot and then he zooms up does the screechy thing right next to us and he's next to our car there's no way to get out because there was a car parked in front of me and then somehow I'm just like looking over and I'm like we can't really see who he is because his windows are really tinted but you can see that it's a guy he's like going like this or something like that the guy started getting out of the car at this moment which was like my cue to go I'm not gonna get out of the car like hello I do not want to be face to face with my stalker right now like this is not gonna happen at this point I was like I don't care if my mirror gets pulled off I don't care if my car gets scratched I just need to get out of this spot for me and Simone's safety literally the car doesn't matter our lives matter so I pulled out of the spot luckily I didn't hit anything but I was pretty dang close to hitting something yes. and I pull out and the guy like 
like runs back into his car and like we can't really see him we can barely see him it's just like a middle-aged guy and some of you guys might be thinking like why didn't you get out of the car just talk to him it's your stalker or whatever but like me and we Simone can can't really defend ourselves so yeah we can't really defend ourselves from a grown man whether he's armed or not literally I don't know what this guy is capable of but it seems like he's very smart and if, aggressive even if this is happening to you there's no reason why you should get out of a car after this car just tried to hit you multiple times there's no reason to do that because it's just putting yourself more in danger so if anything happens like this to you just drive away and get to the nearest safety that you can so anyways I get out of this spot he runs back to his car he slams the door shut and then you hear his car because he obviously has that old car that we were talking about before you could just like hear everything and he's like right on our tail guys he is chasing us down the street mm -hmm. and right left yeah right, we were left. I was trying to do everything possible I was like speeding up slowing down right left pulling into a spot pulling a u-turn so the way I got out of this I think I pulled and then he got stopped at a red light or something and I just drove through it because I was like Bye. There's nothing for us to do. We go through it and then I pull into this like It was like, like a back alley like driveway thing it was. and it was the back parking lot of a restaurant. Exactly. And he wasn't stopping so I was like it's literally now or never and then he drives past and doesn't see us. I was like, "Okay, he's gone." Then right. We wait a few minutes and then we wait really, for him like, to be left gone. The whole like mall area. Yeah, we were super extra careful for the rest of that night. We notified the security there. We notified the escape room security, and we notified all nearby restaurant security to just watch our car, see if anything happens. And we went through the night because at the end of the day, we're not gonna let this stalker stop us from doing things that we love. We finally had a night off, and we wanted to go to an escape room. We wanted to have some fun. So, so that was the end of the night. That was like the beginning of January ish, and I guess that concludes his attack recently but there's been more so you can explain the next one because this is just okay so I get a lot of packages you know whether it's PR or stuff I ordered because you know I love to shop there's literally like three packages every day at Simone's <laughs> we're like Simone more clothes and she's like yay yeah <laughs> yeah that's pretty accurate okay so then we just like went to go like grab a package or something outside because why would we check outside if there's no package and just like on the front porch like not by anything it was just like a note like a letter and it's like it wasn't in an envelope or anything it was no, literally just like, just a piece of paper that like looks a like notebook. it was put down yeah like a notebook paper tear it and leave it on someone's thing one thing we caught on which would we'll go later in the story is that he always writes his whys backwards and he always has like a smiley face the like smiley that. face is so creepy guys and i don't know if it's just because it's coming from him or not but that was right after our last soccer video came out i came home from turks had one day and then left for ohio so that one day is when the note came. Yeah. And then we got back from Ohio and obviously nobody, I mean, people were here watching the house, but like none of our family was home or anything. Nick mm. wasn't here. And we get back and then it was like, we just got home from the airport. It was like super late. Our plane got canceled. We had to fly in the next day. It was like crazy. But obviously I keep posting on my stories. And then when we got home from the airport, it was like late at night and we were hungry. Then Nick was over and then there is a pizza that comes to the door. And we don't really order pizza. I mean, we do sometimes, but like it's, I don't know. We didn't order this freaking pizza, guys. We did not order this pizza. And we go and we see a note and it says, for Nick and Simone. And guess what? The Y is backwards and there's a smiley face. So anyways, we get this pizza and then we like tell the pizza guy, we're like, please, just take this back to your place, like we'll pay you for Not the pizza, first. all that stuff. We just don't want whatever the stalker put in this pizza. We don't know if he like got into it. We don't know if he was gonna put something. We just didn't want this in our house. We were like, here, yeah. we'll pay you. We're so sorry, please take this pizza back, throw it out, I don't know what you want. So we were not take this pizza into the house. And he didn't tell us, he said that the person he sent it wanted to be anonymous. Yeah, which is just another red flag and you guys might think this is like a normal thing that like fans send us pizzas but it's like it's not like we'd never, never have gotten a pizza before gotten. and the smiley face and the backwards why just it was like he went into the pizza shop and gave them the note to deliver with them yeah exactly because there's like hello like that's weird the next time this is when it gets like very invasive it was a package again because I order a lot of things yeah and it was just like a random like Amazon package you know and it was just in a soft package because inside it was a box like it didn't need to be a big box it was like folded over at the top um, but I know like sometimes like people get the wrong package that happened to me at the apartment all the time Like I would always get someone else's packages and be like oop This isn't mine and then like put it to the right door right when I got this package It was like fiddled with and then I was like oh it's probably just one of the neighbors like whatever and then I open it and it has another note 
And guys, it's really important to know at this part of the story that we've always left his notes outside. It almost looks like we never saw them or never touched them because we wanted it to seem that way. Like him sending us notes, we're not gonna read them. We're not going to accept his pizza deliveries, whatever was inside of it. So this is when he was like, the only way for them to read my note and take it into the house and he'll know for sure is if he puts it inside of one of our packages. Yeah, so inside the package I had a note and it was like, I love you like Nick and Simone. And, and it was the, the exact. And was backwards and the yeah. smiley face. And at this point, it's just like, we don't have anything. Like, there's nothing we can do about it because just... Someone going through your packages and all this stuff, like, it could be really dangerous. You don't know what they could put in your stuff. They don't, you don't know what they're capable of. They're clearly going on your front porch and they know where to go to not set off the ring camera and all that stuff. And... Literally once, I got a package and it was a shoe box, a Nike shoe box. And it was from the Los Angeles jail. So then I didn't read it at first and I thought my dad ordered shoes. And I opened it and it was explosives. But ever just since then, if anything looks weird, you always use gloves so we don't touch anything that could be harmful or set anything off. And ever since then we've been very nervous and scared about packages. So the way that this was like opened and everything made us like paranoid. Really paranoid. Yeah. So after that, we just take a lot of precautions for our packages. Now we don't know what's inside of them. We don't know what he's capable of. He clearly is right outside of the house and all that stuff. So I think that gives a full update. He's obviously still been calling. He's been texting. He's been, his car has been parked. It's just like, we're kind of used to that stuff, but we just wanted to update you guys on some of the craziest stuff he's done because I know you guys have asked for it and you guys deserve an update because you were there for us. You were along in the beginning, so we got to tell you guys what we're able to say. So, yeah. so we're probably not going to be doing a part three because we do not want to give this guy any more attention than he's already received and we just want him to know if you are watching, just letting you know, we are gonna continue living our lives. You are not affecting our lives. And if anything, you're helping us be more aware and stepping up our security, so yeah. Yeah. If we need to, we'll hire a security guard to <laughs> just take him down anytime he gets near the house at this point because we don't know what to do. And if you guys do know what to do, if you guys have dealt with anything like this, please let us know what you guys have done. We've already contacted like police. We've already done all that stuff. And we love you guys so much. And thanks for staying tuned through all these soccer videos and all of our videos. If you did not know, our posting schedules have changed. I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And Simone posts on... Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yes, sir. Make sure you turn on those post notifications, like, and subscribe right now. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.